Hi, I am Rajesh, MSc Mathematics. Welcome to LecTV Education. Today I am discussing some questions uh, uh, based on the concept complementary functions. Already we know that sin 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta. Cos 90 minus theta is equal to sin theta. Tan 90 minus theta is equal to cot theta. Next up. Cosecant 90 minus theta is equal to secant theta. Secant 90 minus theta is equal to cosecant theta. And the last one, cot 90 minus theta is equal to tan theta. So these are the formula based on this concept. First question. If sin 3a is equal to cos a minus 26 degrees, where 3a is an acute angle, find angle a. So here, first given thing is, sin 3a is equal to cos a minus 26 degrees. We have to observe that LHS is in sin and RHS is in cos. We have to convert any one into the same thing. So here, sin we have to convert into cos. Sin 3a means sin 3a is equal to cos a minus 26. Sin 3a, you can write this as cos 90 minus 3a. That is equal to cos a minus 26 degrees. So here I am using complementary functions. So here sin 3a is equal to cos 90 minus 3a. Now we got cos and here cos. So in between we have equal to symbol. Now we can equate the both the angles. So here first angle is equal to 90 minus 3a. Second angle is equal to a minus 26 degrees. These two angles are equal. So you have to bring this minus 3a to this side and this angle to this side. So here 90 minus 26 degrees if it comes this side that becomes plus 26 degrees and here a is there. This minus 3 will go and becomes plus 3a. So it implies uh, 90 degrees plus 26 degrees that is 116 degrees is equal to 4a implies a is equal to 116 degrees divided by 4 that is equal to 29 degrees. So implies angle A is equal to 29 degrees. Show that tan 48 degrees into tan 23 degrees into tan 42 degrees into tan 67 degrees is equal to 1. So here in this question we have to observe that if any sum of two angles is equal to 90 degrees is there we have to check that one first. So 48 degrees and 42 degrees sum is equal to 90 degrees and here 20 degrees 23 degrees and 67 degrees the sum is equal to 1 we have to convert into the complementary functions LHS is equal to tan 48 degrees into tan 23 degrees next one tan 42 degrees into tan 67 degrees just we have to leave these two angles as it is that is tan 48 degrees into tan 23 degrees next one in place of this 42, we can write 90 degrees minus 48 degrees. And in this 67 place, we can write 90 degrees minus 23 degrees. Now, this 42 degrees is equal to 90 minus 48 and this 67 is equal to 90 minus 23. We know that tan 90 minus theta is equal to cot theta and tan 90 minus theta is equal to cot theta, same formula. That is equal to tan 48 degrees into tan 23 degrees. So, into this becomes cot, cot 48 degrees and this value cot 23 degrees. We know that cot 48 degrees is equal to 1 by tan 48 degrees and cot 23 degrees is equal to 1 by tan 23 degrees. So this is 1 by tan 48 degrees and this is 1 by tan 23 degrees. So here this one and this one will go and this and this will go. This value is equal to 1. So that is RHS. Show that cos 38 degrees into cos 50 degrees minus sin 38 degrees into sin 52 degrees is equal to 0. Here first we have to observe that the total here uh, LHS is in cos and this one is in the uh, signs. So we have to convert any one into other complementary functions. Now LHS is equal to cos 38 degrees into cos 52 degrees minus sin 38 degrees into sin 52 degrees. 
Now, I am converting these sine functions into cos functions. So, that is equal to cos 38 degrees into cos 52 degrees minus sine. 38 degrees we can write as 90 degrees minus 52 degrees. And sine 52 degrees we can write this as 90 degrees minus 38 degrees. So that is equal to cos 38 degrees into cos 52 degrees minus sin 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta. So that is cos 52 degrees into sin 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta. So that is cos 38 degrees. We can observe that cos 38 into cos 52. Here also cos 38 into cos 52. Both the terms are same and gets cancelled. That is equal to 0. That is equal to RHS. Next question, if tan A is equal to cot B, then prove that A plus B is equal to 90 degrees. So here A plus B is, is equal to 90 degrees means, so A and B are complementary angles. We have to show that A and B are complementary angles. Given that tan A is equal to cot B. So in place of tan A, we can write cot 90 minus A. So, cot 90 minus A is nothing but tan A. That is equal to cot B. So, now these two functions are equal and cot of some angle is equal to cot of some angle. So, implies we can equate these two angles. So, 90 minus A is equal to B. So, here this minus A will go that side and becomes 90 degrees is equal to A plus B. So, these are required proof. Next question, if secant 4a is equal to cosecant a minus 20 degrees and where 4a is an acute angle, find the value of a. So here, secant 4a is equal to cosecant a minus 20. These two are complementary functions. We have to convert any one into the same functions. So that means given secant 4a is equal to cosecant a minus 20 degrees. Now, in place of secant, we can write cosecant 90 minus 4a. That is equal to cosecant of a minus 20 degrees. So, here cosecant and cosecant, both the functions are same and angles must be equal. 90 minus 4a degrees is equal to a minus 20 degrees. Implies 90 minus 4a is equal to a minus 20. This 4a will go this side and 20 will come to this side. Implies 90 plus 20 is equal to a plus 4a. Implies 90 plus 20 means 110 that is equal to 5a. Implies a is equal to 110 divided by 5. This is equal to 22. So implies a is equal to 22 degrees. Next question, and this is an important question. If ABC are interior angles of a triangle ABC, then show that sin B plus C by 2 is equal to cos A by 2. So, in any triangle ABC, we know that sum of the angles is equal to 180 degrees. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Given that A comma B comma C are interior angles of triangle ABC. From this we can write angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. So here we have to find B plus C value. So that means B plus C is equal to 180 degrees. This A will go that side and that becomes minus A. Now B plus C divided by 2 is equal to 180 degrees minus a by 2 implies b plus c by 2 is equal to 180 degrees by 2 means 90 degrees minus a by 2. Now consider sin b plus c divided by 2 that is equal to sin in place of this b plus c by 2 we have to write 90 degrees minus a by 2. Already we know that sin 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta. That is equal to cos theta is a by 2. So, from this we can write sin of b plus c by 2 is equal to cos a by 2. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एक्सप्रेस साइन सिक्सटी सेवन डिग्री प्लस कॉस सेवेंटी फाइव डिग्री इन टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रिग्नामेट्रिक रेशियो ऑफ एंगल्स बिटवीन जीरो डिग्री एंड फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री इन द गिवेन क्वेश्चन he gave 67 degrees and 75 degrees we have to convert these two angles in between 0 degrees and 45 degrees now sin 67 degrees plus cos 75 degrees that value is equal to sin you can write 60 degrees 67 degrees as 90 degrees minus 23 degrees plus cos 75 degrees as 90 degrees minus 15 degrees we can write that is equal to sin 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta cos 23 degrees plus cos 90 minus theta is equal to sin 15 degrees now these two values angles lies between 0 degrees and 45 degrees therefore this is the answer if tan a plus b is equal to root 3 and tan a minus b is equal to 1 by root 3 these two given values and uh, Sum of these two angles lies in between zero degrees and ninety degrees, and A is greater than B. Then find the value of A and B. So first given values, tan of A plus B is equal to root three. From the table, where we got this root three in tens, that is equal to tan sixty degrees. So it implies from these two we can write tan of A plus B is equal to tan sixty degrees. So implies a plus b is equal to 60 degrees. Tan tan will go. So a plus b is equal to 60 degrees. This is equation number one. And from the second given thing, tan of a minus b is equal to one by root three. That value is equal to tan 30 degrees. From this two we can write tan a minus b is equal to tan 30 degrees. So here tan tan will go and a minus b is equal to 30 degrees. So this is equation number two. From one and two, if we add one and two, a plus b is equal to sixty degrees and a minus b is equal to thirty degrees. I am adding these two equations. Now b b will go and a plus a two a that is equal to sixty plus thirty degrees ninety degrees implies a is equal to ninety degrees divided by two that equal to forty five degrees implies angle a is equal to forty five degrees. Now from equation one, from equation one. Angle A plus angle B is equal to 60 degrees. Angle A is nothing but 45 degrees. 45 degrees plus angle B is equal to 60 degrees. Implies angle B is equal to 15 degrees. Now we got both the values. Angle A is equal to 45 degrees and angle B is equal to 15 degrees.